What's going on YouTube? Gsno right here. So in today's video, we're discussing whether we can update the uncovered jailbreak with the LPE vulnerability that was released and what stands between getting the jailbreak updated and of course, waiting for another jailbreak. But before we even get into that, I would like to announce that iOS 14.7 betas are no longer signed, which means that you can no longer go back to 14.7 or to save blobs. A couple of days ago, they used to be signing here on the betas. You can check here on my website, iDeviceCentral.com, on iOS signing status in here. You select your device from the list and it will show all the betas and all the iOS versions that are currently signed. Here are the normal releases and here are the betas. A couple of days ago, iOS 14.7 7 was still signed in here on the betas. I made a video about that at that point. However, now it's no longer signed. iOS 15 beta is the only beta signed and the 14.7.1 is the only iOS version release that is currently signed. None of which are good for jailbreak purposes. iOS 14.7 was good because of SAR Amar's vulnerability which was patched in 14.7.1. This one that we're also going to talk about today. So a lot of people seem to ask me on Twitter whether this can be used for uncover or not. There seems to be a lot of confusion on whether we can use this for uncover or only for pawn my. And many people believe that if it can be used for pawn my, it should be usable for uncover. And that is not actually correct. It cannot be used for uncover. And the reason has nothing to do with copyright or DMCA. Many people thought that this is the reason that Sar Amar probably doesn't let pawn to own use this in their jailbreak, which is not correct. Sar Amar did not impose any limits on how this can be used or by whom. So the uncover team would be free to use it in their tool. However, it's not possible to use it in order to update uncover for 14.7 and lower because this vulnerability here requires a certain entitlement that we cannot get in uncover. That entitlement is only present in web content or Safari. So in order to be able to trigger the vulnerability here and use it in a jailbreak, we would need to be able to have that entitlement, which we don't have in uncover because uncover is not Safari. Uncover is a standalone application. So this is the reason why pawn my would work. Because PawnMy is a Safari based jailbreak, it's a website that you access in Safari and you press jailbreak. So it's JavaScript, it's code that works in the browser and that way the entitlement is present and we will be able to trigger this vulnerability here released by SAR Amar, which was patched in 14.7.1 but would work for 14.7 all the way down to 14.4 or so. At the same time, PawnMy has a WebKit exploit, this one in here released by this security researcher in here and this one works on 14.5 and newer. So we can pawn Safari in order to be able to get this going. However, Uncover has neither. Uncover is an IPA file, which means it's a standalone application in itself with no relationship whatsoever to Safari or WebKit or web content. So it couldn't take advantage of this vulnerability if they wanted to. So if you want to wait for a jailbreak with this vulnerability, at this point, Pawn My becomes the only option I see in the near future. And near future could mean anything, could mean weeks, could mean months. It depends on how fast we can get an exploit from this vulnerability. Remember that a vulnerability is not an exploit. A vulnerability could be used to create an exploit, but you still have to do some work. Now, admittedly, Saramar posted everything that we need in here, especially the exploitation part. They talked about everything that needs to be done in order to get arbitrary read and write and stuff like that. So all you need to know is indeed here. You just need a little bit of experience in order to put them together. Something else that has been posted, and this one can be used for uncover as well, are the slides posted by Pattern F. Those are the slides from the Black Hat USA 2020 which contain a lot of great information about Amphi, about, you know, bypassing Amphi and stuff like that, kernel hip isolation and many other security features introduced in iOS 14. Though I do believe that many of these things are already known by the Uncover team, that being Pond Own, Sam Bingner and many others, because their tools do include Amphi bypass, do include PAC bypass and so on. So even though they're not releasing those for the general public, they probably do have this information. However, if you are an uncovered user waiting for uncovered to be updated for 14.5, 14.4, 14.6, 14.7, it's probably going to take more time because the vulnerability that was released, this one in here, is usable for pawn my, which would be a jailbreak that doesn't require any IPA or applications or signing. You just go to Safari, open a website, jailbreak, and that's it. This one could 
should be updated with that vulnerability, but Uncover, it can't because it doesn't have the proper entitlement. So I hope this makes it clear why Uncover or even Torin cannot be updated with that vulnerability. It's useless for Uncover and Torin, but it's a gold treasure for PawnMy because Safari has exactly that entitlement that we need and PawnMy works directly on Safari. So if you are waiting for a jailbreak, your best bet would be PawnMy, which is currently in development. It's highly work in progress by the Manticore team. So yeah, thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.